Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be talking about my top 5 full coverage concealers for fair skin. I love a full coverage under eye, I feel like it really pulls my base together and I love the flawless look. So if you do too, then stay tuned to hear my top picks. Let's start with my newest favorite, the e.l.f. Chemo Concealer. Oh my gosh, I am actually amazed by this one. It is literally the best shape tape dupe I've ever tried. Now I have two here. Fair Beige has a cool undertone, whereas Fair Warm has a neutral undertone. I actually really like both shades. I find that Fair Beige, even though it's described to be cool, is actually a better match for every day. It's not as fair as Fair Warm, therefore it doesn't look as stark and bright under the eyes. If you love a really bright under eye, then Fair Warm will be absolutely perfect as it does a great job at brightening the area. For application, I only need to go in with like three little dots and that is more than enough concealer to get a full coverage, flawless look. Now this is a matte formula, so if you have really dry under eyes, you might not get along with this one, but for me, I find it's fine and I only need a little amount of powder to set it because it does dry down quite well. When it comes to creasing, if you haven't heard me say it already, every single concealer creases on me. I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and there is literally no concealer I have used that is absolutely creaseless. Now obviously some are worse than others, but I find this is one of them that has very minimal settling into my fine lines, which is just fantastic. I do have a whole video reviewing this concealer, including swatch comparisons and a demo. So if you want to see that, I will link it down below. I'll also link any other individual reviews to the concealers I mentioned today down below. My next new favorite is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. If you're not into a really matte finish, but still want something that's full coverage, then you will absolutely love this one. It has more of a satin matte finish, which gives a really fresh look compared to something that's super matte, which can look drying on some people. The shade I have is called N Fair One, and this has a neutral undertone. This is a good match for me, but when you look at the whole shade range, the fair selection isn't that good. If you're more of a cool or a warm undertone, there aren't really options for you that are going to be light enough. You then have to go up a level to get your undertone, but then the shade isn't light enough. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> For application, you only need a tiny amount. I like to go in with two layers though to build it up. I find that using one dot under each eye with the two layers leaves a beautiful full coverage and as I said before, has that really nice satin matte finish. I love how lightweight this feels under the eyes. It doesn't dry down completely, so I do recommend setting it with some powder. Next is another affordable option, and this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Now, you might remember when this first came out, everyone was raving about how it was the new Tarte Shape Tape. While I do agree it has a great coverage, it's not Tarte Shape Tape. It's just not. Elf is the new Tarte Shape Tape, okay? But anyway, this concealer is still amazing, it's affordable, and there is a great shade range for fair skin. A couple of months ago, they did actually expand their range quite extensively, so there are a lot more undertones to choose from now. I still have the old fairest shades, I haven't purchased from the new selection yet, but I've got C0.5 which has cool undertones and it is a very, very fair color. And then I have C1 which has neutral undertones and it's not super fair, it's more of a match my skin tone kind of light. For application, like the cover FX, I like to do two thin layers to build up the coverage. This formula is quite thick, but it's very creamy, so it doesn't feel really heavy under the eyes. And even though it's a matte formula, it's still really comfortable and not extremely drying. Next is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer, and I feel as though this one is quite underrated. It's affordable, it has great coverage, and it comes in really fair shades. The first shade I have is called Fair, and it's described to have more of a neutral undertone, but I definitely think it pulls quite yellow. It is a little warm for my liking, but the shade is very fair. And then I have the shade Pale, which is described to have a warm undertone, and oh my gosh, this concealer is so fair. 
The consistency of this one is really nice and creamy. It feels lightweight under the eyes. And again, I like to go in with the two thin layers to build up that coverage. I think that these shades cater more to a neutral to warm undertone, which I know can be quite hard to find if you've got super fair skin. A lot of the products cater more to a neutral cool undertone if you've got super fair skin. And to finish off, of course, I have to mention the one and only Tarte Shape Tape. This has become an absolute classic in the makeup world and it is the standard when it comes to full coverage concealer. So I have the shade Fair Neutral. The undertone is great, but now that I've tried out a few more concealers, this is definitely not the lightest one in my collection. If you don't want a super bright under eye, you'd prefer something that matches your skin tone and you want that full coverage, I think that this would be a great option for you. For application, I use around three swipes under each under eye. I only need one layer and the coverage is spot on. As we all know, this is a matte concealer and it can be quite drying. So if you've got dry under eyes, I would steer clear of this one. This concealer and the e.l.f. concealer are probably the most heavy feeling out of all I've mentioned today. Because they pack such a punch with the coverage and have that super matte finish, they can feel heavier under the eyes. So it's best to go light on the application so you don't go overboard. I'm sure you've all heard about this concealer a billion times already, but I definitely think it's a staple to have in your collection if you love full coverage. A quick tip as well when it comes to full coverage concealers for fair skin. Because we're so fair, there isn't a lot of pigment to the products that we're using. So it may seem as though the product isn't as full coverage as you'd hoped. This is where color correcting comes in handy. So even though I don't have what I'd call bad under eye dark circles, I still like to use a color corrector. I find that doing this helps me get the best coverage from my concealer. The one I love is from NYX. It's called the Dark Circle Concealer and I have the shade Fair. So this is a light peach color and it helps to counteract the darkness under the eyes. You can see the difference when I apply it. It just takes away that darkness so that I'm able to get that full coverage impact from the concealer I'm using. All right, I'm just going to insert some swatches of all the concealers I mentioned today. Now you'll see that there is a massive variation in undertones. I do prefer something with more of a neutral undertone, but to be honest, I somehow can make them all work. Undertones can be quite confusing and I feel like I did talk about it a lot. So if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments for me. Okay, so first up we have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige and this is in the shade Fair Warm. This here is the Cover FX Power Play in N Fair 1. Next we have the Makeup Revolution Conceal in Define in C1 and C0.5. This here is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in Fair and Pale. And then we have the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. All right, well that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite concealer is because I'm always up for trying more. If you're new here, feel free to have a little browse and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I'll have that linked down below. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.